Hey, this is Lindsay, and um, I saw that you wanted me to walk you through, and that's that's totally fine. That's what I'm here for. So just excuse my voice because it probably will get real scratchy. I caught my daughter's cold. Um, okay, so I have the two that you got open. I have the wall collage, and I have the freebie Facebook uh, profile template. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, what I have done, I've separated um, each clipping mask and the image layer for you in colors. So <clears throat> now my older templates aren't color coded like that, so they're a little bit more confusing, but I always try to go from top, you know, to right to bottom. So, <clears throat> so let's start here. You can see I've set these two as orange. Uh, trying to be all fall like and I've said it right here here's your clipping mask and then here is where it says place image here you'll want to click this layer go to file place linked and then uh, let me just go to my daughter's pictures or I'll do my brother and sister-in-law and then you want to constrain your image <clears throat> so check this check this little chain link and you'll just draw it to whatever size you want. Enter. And you'll see that this is a, like a low resolution. Um, it's literally only meant to be the Facebook profile. So it looks better the smaller. <coughs> but when you blow it up, it doesn't have as many <coughs> pixels per inch. And then if you go to the collage, again, I have them set to clipping mask instead of it saying clipping mask since there's so many different clipping masks I have them set one two three four five and if you click on each one they will highlight which box you're placing the image into <clears throat> so I'll go back to the top where it says place image this one will be going into one that's why there's a 90 degree arrow angled over the one and then we'll just go into <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me just go in here. We'll just do, no, they've got the white background. I'll just do these. So this bigger one is like a horizontal image. So I'm just going to pick and click that chain length and then you can drag it to the size appropriate for the frame. <coughs> You can bring it up and then go down to place image over two. And since that's more of a square, <coughs> you gotta do something that you don't mind cropping too much. So let's go here, click that chain. And then go down to over three, which is this box right next to here. Place linked. And we'll just do the hands. And then go to over four. <coughs> Place linked. And we'll do mama vertical. Click the chain. What's wrong, baby? You don't want to watch that? You can't. You don't want it? What'd you do to your finger? She's in speech therapy. She's just learning to talk. <clears throat> and then we'll go over five. What are you doing? And we'll do one of the lovely couple. chain link. Um, What'd you do? And so that's how you set up your wall collage. And if you ever wanted to <coughs> replace the image, 
you can go to replace contents and you can select the image. So I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask.